My name is Marion, Marion Van Eyck McCain, and I'm the editor of this new book, Green Spirit, Path to a New Consciousness. For me, it's been both a pleasure and a privilege to be the one to put together the words and the wisdom of so many people. Green Spirit is in four parts. The first part is called Understanding. We humans have always told stories about the creation of our world, about who we are and how we got here. But in this last 500 years, science has revealed so much about our planet and about the universe, of which our planet is such a teeny tiny fragment, that we now have an even more wonderful and fascinating version of that story, the universe story. Part one of the book looks at that big story. And then it goes on to look at our understanding of ourselves and at how we humans fit into the great web of life. Some people with a green spirit orientation to life call themselves spiritual but not religious. Others remain practicing members of religious organizations of many kinds, Christian, Jewish, Buddhist, Muslim, Hindu, pagan, and so on. In part two of the book, we hear the voices and viewpoints of men and women from a range of religious and spiritual traditions about the ways in which they experience and practice green spirituality. to live in a truly ecocentric world, a world in which the needs and well-being of the planet were placed at the center of every decision. Part three of the book looks at some of the primary institutions of our culture, law, medicine, education, economics, and so on, and how these look when viewed through the lens of green spirituality. Part four, we speak of action. How do we walk our talk? How do we express green spirituality in community and in our private lives, in our thoughts and words and actions, every day and every moment of our lives? For far too long, our species has been treating the earth like a huge pot of goodies. A huge pot from which we can take and use. But we're realizing finally, because of the melting glaciers and all the other things that are going wrong, we're realizing that we can't go on doing that. And what we're realizing is that we are part of the earth. I mean, it really makes no sense to think otherwise. Where would we come from if we weren't part of the Earth? But we have behaved as though we're not, as though our resources were limitless. What we're realizing is that we are part of the Earth. We're cells in the body of a living Gaia, a living Earth. So what we do to our planet, we do to ourselves. And if we wreck the health of our planet, we wreck our own health. And if we wreck the planet, where else are we going to go?